Anything that makes your life a little bit more interesting and fuller is 100% is, is worth it. excited about this next guy because uh, he was on Fox uh, for the last season of uh, Laughs. Uh, put your hands together for my good friend, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Justin Williams. <laughs> yes. See, I know if you clap for that show, listen. <laughs> listen, I was happy to be on TV, but it's just one of those TV credits that people watch but not on purpose. So it's like the most unflattering I recognize you as a comedian moment. It's always like, hey man, my TV is broke and it only goes to channel four and it won't turn off. And at 1 a.m. after Saturday Night Live and shit, you came on. I was like, what the fuck is he doing on TV? My name is Justin Williams. That's like, that's how people I'm a history me. professor and I'm a stand-up comedian. You never been to a corner store in a bad neighborhood? There's no real food in there. It's one of the Cheetos, honey buns, and ATM that gives out $5 bills. <laughs> We tell all the young people watching this to pursue their dreams. Unless their dream is stand-up comedy. Do not do that. I teach modern African history, so I'm on campus uh, two to three days a week. For like the first like three years of my job, I was dressing like Tucker Carlson. I was like wearing like a bow tie. I'm like, I'm a serious scholar and a gentleman. Because, you know, uh, when you're like the youngest person on the faculty, you want to be taken seriously. Like, that's kind of the tricky thing with comedy. There, you know, a comedy club and a comedy performance is a space where everything is considered to be a joke. But if you take any sentence out of a comedy club and then you put it in a professional setting, then it's like, oh, I could actually get in trouble. I think it's like a challenge in some ways to go up in front of an audience full of mostly strangers and then try to win them over. And then also the, the adrenaline kick of that kind of experience. This is like a scary thing. I mean, it probably it probably has some overlap with chemical addiction. <laughs> it's probably the same thing. Nobody but. remember, like I like how we've disavowed that guy, like he wasn't on everything. It's like OJ Simpson and MC Hammer were on everything for like five years. All right, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> hey, look, sometimes we go off the top of the dome, sometimes it hits, sometimes it just leaves you guys looking like the OJ jurors. <laughs> That's what you guys look like, just hmm. I was always around in comedy and stuff like that. I went to a Paul Mooney show and his opener was very, very drunk. I go, oh, well, I would, I cannot be drunk on stage. I knew I could do that. So I started going to the comic strip, uh, 2008, 2009, and I've been doing comedy ever since. This is the only city in America where um, it's customary that if a stranger attempts to talk to you, you should just walk past them. <laughs> <laughs> There are, there are a lot of comics that do comedy where it was like, oh, that was a whimsical experience that did not address anything that is going on in the world. And, but that's not the kind of comedy I do. Give it up! To me, it seems weird to get up and not talk about anything. You gotta laugh or you're gonna have a revolution. I don't know which one you wanna choose, you know. Anybody ever talk to a stranger in this place? <laughs> Terrible, you give a stranger a half a second of your time. What happens? About 12 rap CDs you didn't want? <laughs> Everybody's hustling so much in this city, you can see a dude bleeding from the head and on fire, and you'd be like, yo, I'm not falling for that shit again. He got me for $20 last night. <laughs> oh, the old businessman that just had a stroke on the train platform trick. Whatever. <laughs> There's somewhat of a crossover between both jobs and the fact that the basic element is the same. You want to keep people off their cell phones for an hour. I like doing both. I tell people, oh, I just want to continue talking to the people. And I have two jobs that allow me to do that. Uh, so my goal is to do both, but to keep doing both at a higher level. To be a better teacher every year, to publish more, and hopefully one day I would like to do a late night television appearance. I just want my five minutes on a late night show where I can talk to the people directly.